hello everyone and welcome in this computer fancy tutorial and in this video I will talk about uh, amazing tool which cover everything like uh, computer forensics mobile forensics and network forensics as well as we can uh, do a remote acquisition like if a PC is uh, on remote location then we can uh, acquire a forensic image from that machine to our location network in network mode okay so here it is uh, this is Parabene corporation product and this is a e3 universal and as you can see it supports uh, in which how many platform it's showing that uh, we can use this tool a like computer forensic and smart uh, phone forensics cloud forensics email investigation windows artifacts review and report okay this is some images are here and uh, there are many information are available like which type of data you can analysis by this tool okay and I would say you are really lucky that uh, I was able to arrange this tool for you guys and you can see this is the price of uh, this tool is $5,495 okay and uh, here the all tools are listed in this uh, Parabin website okay and after installation of this tool you need to install these type of uh, driver and uh, supportable package so that uh, this tool will be able to work on supported devices so without wasting time we are jumping on main application which is e3 platform we call it electronic evidence examiner so here I have installed this so I'm running it it will take time because it is a little bit heavy tool and in earlier videos I have already said that uh, before running any computer forensic application you should have a good PC or laptop so that you can get a better performance while running this, this type of applications and you can see this is a 2.8 edition I have installed some plugins so that uh, I can just uh, give a demonstration uh, how to use this tool how to uh, do the remote acquisition by showing you the option and uh, in this video tutorial I will create a case for you and uh, I will do analysis of a computer forensic image which I have already placed in my PC right now we have a complete window of Parabin E3 Universal you can see this is a E3 and I'm also lucky to have this tool to, to working on my PC and give you a demonstration on this alright so he, here we have a main window of uh, this tool like acquired device or add evidence so here you can acquire a mobile device by clicking here or uh, if you want to acquire a hard drive, pen drive and uh, different kind of storage then you can go to this uh, option alright so left one is acquire device this means it will work for mobile and right one is this one will work for uh, storage device ok for example I'm just giving example here so that you can see this after clicking here it will prompt and it will start uh, detecting mobile ok now you can see I was waiting for this window ok so currently we don't have any mobile attached with my PC so I'm closing it I was just giving example so 
that you can see how it, it is working and uh, now you can see here logical drive how many type of evidence you can uh, do a forensic imaging and analysis and logical drive and folder you can specify a folder file by this option physical drive it may, which will help to uh, do the complete forensic image of uh, uh, hardware base forensic imaging like I have attached my uh, two hard drive which is one one hard drive is uh, WDC 1TB hard drive and this is the SSD okay at the same way we have a different options so currently I'm uh, just uh, attaching uh, my forensic image which is really small which will take a uh, 10 minute to 30 minute forensic image and this is uh, that forensic image the size of this one is only 37 MB now it is asking for a forensic image just I'm giving the same same name you can add in, you can uh, write here uh, as per your standard or format like uh, date all right you can keep like this so that you can identify later when if you uh, rework on same case again or somebody is is going to hand over from you then he can understand that this is a case name and date and location okay just i'm giving again same name as you can see now this is edit here by opening this three where three three list and just need to right click then content analysis then we need to go on content analysis and now we have option like uh, which type of option you want to do like OCR and uh, calculate hash this one should be unchecked and display deleted file separately because if sometime if of, of your senior person or uh, in working case if you need deleted files then you can uh, identify those files by selecting this option okay now I'm clicking next now it is asking which type of files you want to uh, do uh, analyzed by this tool so I want to analyze this disk image ST data archive email database then chat internet then I'm just just deselecting this include file of undetected format it will uh, it will just uh, read complete hex of uh, forensic image then it will retrieve from uh, file select perform data analysis in deleted okay uh, we have a uh, lot of option just we need to uh, work as per our requirement Currently, I have selected all options. So I'm just clicking on next. Now it is asking for a skip MSI installation. Now content analysis. And we have option, this two option also. Like uh, content and in content analysis, we have a specified like how, how which file should be uh, processed, which part should be analyzed okay now I'm going to explain different ways so that you can uh, do a auto analysis by this tool uh, first we I'm going to create another case okay uh, okay and uh, I'm typing case name like add evidence next it is asking for uh, same options like uh, in earlier videos I've ex I have ex in earlier videos I have explained in N case and FTK like you need to mention everything like investigator name case Ocha. agency you can just uh, testing company phone number you can just put any number like divine divine eight was under three and this is an a but you need to put if you have okay and you need to mention everything like where you you are going to uh, do the acquisition of forensic 
uh, uh, case okay and you need to mention email address like here okay start typing my sample address or comment you can add brief information about this case so that you can whenever you will be able to uh, uh, rework on or someone going to take handover from you then he will be able he or she will be able to uh, read everything or understand uh, what's going what was the main uh, information about this case was available in this case okay just need to finish and it is asking to save a case just I'm typing another uh, F case first case then save okay now we need to add a forensic image or if you have a, a web block device added on your laptop or PC in earlier videos I have just uh, talked to you right blocker base like this one there are many type of write blocker are available in market some some of uh, write blocker base can be installed in PC like this one you just need to put hard drive here and it will the it will uh, detect the hard drive in readable mode okay this is the write block uh, base you can see these some of the images are available how you can uh, install it okay practically I don't have uh, uh, this type of uh, uh, this type of uh, expensive items because these are uh, very expensive uh, uh, hardware so I just uh, I'm just uh, showing you on online so that you can see and whenever you have this hardware in front of you then you can understand that way what is that okay this is a complete forensic to forensic kit so I'm just adding forensic image as I have a forensic image here and then I'm clicking ok ok so here I have uh, added that forensic image and now like for here now I need to uh, do uh, analysis on this so be, uh, without uh, uh, an analysis this tool we cannot uh, uh, perform further analysis okay so here we have a wizard option we can do men uh, specified like if some task if we want to do then we we will go for content analysis either uh, or we can just uh, click on this start auto exam and here it is asking which type of file, file you want to do analysis so it is asking would you like to sort into categorize then you always uh, select this one because it will help you in graphical mode to understand which type of file recovered or which type file which type of files uh, processed just click every file as per your requirement okay it is asking would you like to remove duplicate sorted by export result you can just uh, click yes or no uh, for example if you want to work on all files then you click on no and uh, if you want to work on only original files then you can click on yes it is asking if you have a dis uh, some keyword then you can just like money okay money delete a fraud you can put it here and now it is asking from uh, how many type of report you will generate so you can check every type of report you want to generate okay and now do you want to include try start of your report 
yeah you can just click here and that's it we just need to configure only this and just click on auto start auto exam and what it will be done every file will be processed checked and sorted and categorized by this tool and it will take time currently this is running so it is uh, shorting out every file okay content analysis it is still running whenever you will go to this then it will file will be increased like 476 okay so i think file is processed all right as you can see the number is still increasing eight to six last time file was 476 okay shorting task notified okay so now uh, process com uh, process of uh, like we can say ingestion of this file is completed and we just uh, work on a uh, forensic image as per our case like for example if we win if we want to work on email file then we have email files here just we can do everything like here you can see content are showing here okay so as the same way you can uh, work according your case this is really uh, easy tool and uh, we you don't need to uh, install uh, different uh, uh, database and like FTK we need to install database so we have everything after process uh, forensic image I hope this tool will help you to do forensic image okay now I'm going to talk about uh, a particular task for which I recommend this tool this one remote imager because most of the time we uh, think about it uh, okay in local system we can do run any application to uh, for forensic imaging but what happens if we if a PC like you are in India and uh, that that PC is on your remote location that in that case uh, you will have to a remote will have to do a remote uh, uh, acquisition so before uh, performing remote data acquisition these are some steps to uh, do like you have to install uh, agent currently this is uh, compatible on only uh, windows platform so we have a variant of uh, architecture like we have 64 bit agent and we have a six, uh, 86 um, bit agent here so as per requirement you can just click on any uh, agent to download like if you have google drive then you can download this if you have one then you you can just uh, use this one so currently I'm just uh, clicking on this one I will just explain you how you can uh, perform forensic imaging okay so I have this tool downloaded here just need to run as administrator on that remote location PC not on your PC okay from where you are uh, uh, getting data like source location and destination location will be your PC okay now this is a agent in this agent you need to put uh, IP address of your PC this PC in which you are uh, you are going to do a forensic imaging okay from where you want to 
and do the acquisition this is the agent you will run on that PC and this is your uh, main uh, forensic uh, machine where you will collect that uh, data okay so just need to click here and it is asking uh, okay all that you can see after analysis of that file we have report okay we will work we will talk about later we were talking about this okay now we have a wizard for remote uh, imaging Im uh, imaging just click and just make sure you have po open port this is working then you need to click on next and this is the applic in external IP address this is you need to copy here because this is your PC and then put it here so that that agent will respond you right need to copy your external IP address then put it on your agent uh, application and put it here then you need to click on this uh, option and once this will respond you you just need to put this authorization code here and then will it will start uh, remote acquisition of that PC all right so this will help you to do uh, network forensic imaging currently I'm just exiting this because this is running only same PC so same port will not be uh, work together okay I'm closing it so this was uh, complete uh, basic information and overview about uh, Parabin E3 Universal and I hope this tool will help you to do a complete forensic imaging and complete uh, computer and mobile uh, forensic image analysis and as well as remote imaging and in coming videos I will uh, create a uh, Parabin case for mobile data acquisition so that you can see how to do acquisition of Android or any mobile to acquire data from mobile alright till then I'm closing it thanks for watching bye everyone